Uh, right, so we're here, uh, just doing a photo shoot for the new kit, which uh, I'm a big fan of. And uh, we've got Rob here, who, who's the one that asks us questions all the time, you know, before games, after games. So, as I am a man full of questions, I'm going to be the one asking Rob questions about the new kit. Um, going to get some answers, uh, as it is a bit different. So, um, we're going to dig a bit deeper and uh, see where this new colourway is. is uh, Come from really. So the first question, Rob, <laughs> why the move to a navy home kit? Well, navy's always been part of our um, team and colourway. Um, you know, the first kit in Super League was navy mm. um, back in 1997, and we've had success in navy throughout the years. 2012 was was a memorable year, um, beating Warren in it in the grand final, and so navy's always been part of it. Um, I think it looks super smart. Mm. It's got the 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 amber and, and the white too. Yeah. Um, it's difficult to come up with different options as well. So it needs to be fresh. It needs to look slightly different. You can't keep you know going with the same colorway. Um, Oxen have done a fabulous job in coming up with some new vibrant options, and I think it looks great. Yeah, I completely agree. And um, it's not the only different kit that we've had. They were red as well. One that were red. They were white. I think, am I right? I'm thinking, yeah. So uh, I'm a big fan of uh, new stuff and uh, I like how, you know, it's traditional, but also it's a bit different to the last few years. So uh, yeah, I really like it too. Uh, my second question, was the shirt sales this season a factor in the decision to change the predominant colorway? I mean, sales is is ultimately what we're after. Yep. You know, it, it, you can have the, the best shirt in the world, but if it doesn't sell, that is a factor and it's you know the commerciality of you know our retail operation and our partners oxen is because it's a factor and last year's shirt really well received the traditional look of blue and amber the traditional hoop but the sales were okay they weren't what we were expected so you know to like almost go back and and think about you know fresher different ideas you know a, a, a traditional lead shirt in terms of the bounds um, but yeah, certainly it, it, it's a factor, um, and like I said, you know, to come up with something slightly different is a challenge every year. Yeah, yeah, not ever. It's not everyone's cup of tea. Certain kids, isn't it? So uh, it's a it's a tough job to get it right, and we've got the best fan base in the world. So uh, you know, we've got to do anything we can to and everything we can to give them what they want, don't Absolutely. we? And and just on that, you know, in terms of fans and and their input into the shirt, um, you know, we've got. Um, a, a, a fantastic management team at the club that work closely with Lee and Shane and the team at Oxen. But then wider than that, we have a supporters board who are fabulous people who love the club, who are involved with the club purely on a voluntary basis. But we really, really value their views yeah. and they know fans and they've been fans a long time. And it was put to them, you know, what do they prefer and what do their thoughts about, you know, some different options. They looked at many, many different options. Yeah. And this was by far the standout winner. So, you know, we certainly listened to, you know, our fan base, we certainly listened to our supporters board and that was a huge factor in it too. Yeah. So, uh, you kind of answered a bit, bit of that. <laughs> <laughs> you kind of gave me an answer to this next question, but I'm still gonna, I'm, I'm still gonna ask it anyway. Uh, who has involvement in the choice of a new kit? So, what, I know you've mentioned what, what that already. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So that's pretty that's pretty much covered, isn't it? Yeah. We covered that, didn't we? So, um, but but again I think just to emphasize that you know, it in my decision in, Gary's decision in, Rowan Smith's decision yeah. in, one person options decision, it's a wide collective view of right, we've got all these options, boil them down to seven or eight favourites and then off we go. So and that was the standard. Yeah. I you know what um I completely agree with this one. I believe in our fans, I believe in the people that have involvements in this kit and I'm really, really impressed. I really like it. And last question, probably the most important one when it comes to, you know, this sort of stuff. Uh, who was the best forward at the club? <laughs> 100% Morgan Gallon. Well, I agree, I agree. Well, I'll have a word after just, this. Anyways. <laughs>